Are you struggling to stick to intermittent fasting? Don't worry, we've all been there. In this video, I'll share the five essential tips that every beginner needs to make intermittent fasting work effectively for you. No more hunger pangs, no more confusion. We're going to break down the walls of fasting confusion and build a foundation of knowledge that will empower you to take control of your health. From simple scheduling techniques to understanding your body's hunger cues, we'll cover it all. Get ready to discover how intermittent fasting, in its various forms like the 16-8 method or the 5-2 approach, can be tailored to your lifestyle. Let's dive right in. All right, let's kick things off with the 16-8 method. This is the gateway to the incredible world of intermittent fasting, especially for beginners. Think of it as Intermittent Fasting 101. It's all about finding an 8-hour window where you enjoy your meals and then fasting for the remaining 16 hours. Now, before you freak out about the fasting part, remember, you're essentially just extending your overnight fast, the one you're already doing while you sleep. It might sound a bit intimidating at first, but trust me, it's a lot easier than you think. The beauty of the 16-8 method lies in its simplicity. You can literally mold it to fit your daily routine. For example, you could have your first meal at noon and your last meal by 8 p.m. This way, you're fasting while you sleep, and it doesn't feel like you're making a huge change to your day. And hey, speaking of sleep, did you know that the 16-8 method can actually improve your sleep quality? When you give your body a break from digestion, it can focus on other important processes, like cell regeneration and hormone regulation. This brings me to another benefit of 16-8, insulin sensitivity. By controlling your eating window, you're also helping your body regulate insulin levels more effectively. This can translate to better blood sugar control, reduced cravings, and even weight management. But wait, there's more. Many people report increased focus and mental clarity when they practice intermittent fasting, especially with the 16-8 method. This could be because your body isn't bogged down with digestion, allowing your brain to function at its best. So if you're new to this whole intermittent fasting thing, I highly recommend starting with the 16-8 method. It's a great way to ease into the practice, experience the benefits firsthand, and set yourself up for success on your fasting journey. Now let's talk about the real secret sauce of intermittent fasting consistency. You see, it's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. The magic happens when you turn intermittent fasting into a lifestyle, not just a quick fix. It's like building a house, brick by brick. Every day you stick to your chosen fasting method, you're laying down another brick, making that foundation stronger and stronger. You won't see the full structure overnight, but trust me, the results will blow you away. Think of it this way. Imagine you're trying to learn a new language. You wouldn't expect to become fluent overnight, right? It takes time, dedication, and consistent practice. Intermittent fasting is no different. Many beginners fall into the trap of hopping between different fasting methods, trying to find that magic shortcut. But here's the thing. The real magic lies in consistency. When you choose a method, whether it's the 16-8, the 5-2, or any other approach, give it time to work its magic. Your body needs a chance to adapt, to understand the rhythm you're setting. It's like training for a marathon. You wouldn't switch up your training plan every other day. You'd stick to a schedule, gradually increasing your endurance. And just like a well-trained athlete, your body will reward you for your dedication. You'll start to notice improvements in your energy levels, your digestion, and even your mental clarity. But it all starts with consistency. Make a commitment to yourself, choose your fasting method, and stick with it. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are the amazing benefits of intermittent fasting. So be patient, be consistent, and watch as your body transforms into a lean, mean fasting machine. Let's talk about something that's absolutely crucial when it comes to intermittent fasting, especially for beginners, staying hydrated. You see, when you're fasting, your body is going through a natural detoxification process, and water is essential for flushing out those toxins. Think of it like this. Imagine your body is a car engine. When you're fasting, you're essentially giving that engine a tune-up, cleaning out all the gunk that's built up over time. And just like a car needs water to run smoothly, your body needs water to function optimally during a fast. Now, when I say stay hydrated, I don't just mean chugging down gallons of plain water. While that's definitely important, you can also get creative with your hydration game. Herbal teas are a fantastic option during your fasting window. Not only are they hydrating, but they can also provide a sense of comfort and warmth, making those fasting hours a little more enjoyable. And here's a pro tip, adding a pinch of pink Himalayan salt to your water can work wonders in maintaining your electrolyte balance. 
electrolytes are essential minerals that play a vital role in muscle function, nerve function, and hydration. During a fast, your electrolyte levels can fluctuate, which might lead to headaches, fatigue, or even muscle cramps. But by adding a pinch of salt to your water, you're replenishing those lost electrolytes and keeping your body in tip-top shape. Now let's talk about supplements. While they're not absolutely necessary for intermittent fasting, they can be helpful, especially when you're first starting out. One supplement that can be particularly beneficial is electrolytes. As we just discussed, electrolytes are crucial for maintaining hydration and overall well-being, especially during a fast. Another supplement to consider is a high-quality multivitamin. During a fast, your body might not be getting its usual intake of vitamins and minerals from food. A multivitamin can help fill in those nutritional gaps. Remember, staying hydrated and supplementing wisely are key pillars of a successful intermittent fasting journey. So, drink up, replenish those electrolytes, and give your body the support it needs to thrive. Let's face it, one of the biggest hurdles beginners face with intermittent fasting is hunger. Those rumbling stomachs and intense cravings can make you want to wave the white flag and reach for the nearest snack. But hold on, there's a method to this hunger madness, and understanding it can make all the difference. Here's the thing, hunger isn't always a sign that you're starving and need to eat immediately. It's often a signal, a message from your body, and sometimes it just needs a little time to settle down. Think of it like waves in the ocean, they rise and fall, ebb and flow. Hunger pangs work the same way. The key is to learn how to ride those hunger waves, to acknowledge them without giving in to their every whim. Remember, you're stronger than you think, and you can totally handle a little bit of hunger. Now, when those hunger pangs come knocking, there are a few things you can do to tame the beast. First and foremost, drink water. Sometimes our bodies confuse thirst for hunger, so staying hydrated can actually curb those cravings. Another trick is to distract yourself. Engage in activities that take your mind off food like reading a book, going for a walk, or catching up with a friend. When you're engrossed in something you enjoy, those hunger pangs tend to fade into the background. And here's a secret weapon, coffee. Black coffee is a fasting superhero. It can not only boost your energy levels, but also suppress your appetite. So, if you're feeling those hunger pangs creeping in, brew yourself a cup of black coffee and let it work its magic. The more you practice intermittent fasting, the better you'll become at recognizing your body's true hunger signals. You'll learn the difference between actual hunger and just plain old boredom or emotional eating. One of the most beautiful things about intermittent fasting is its flexibility. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding what works best for you, your body, and your lifestyle. And that's where customizing your eating window comes in. Think of your eating window as a window of opportunity, a time to nourish your body with delicious, healthy foods. But the timing of that window can make all the difference in your fasting success, especially when you're just starting out. We've already talked about the 16-8 method, which is a great starting point for beginners. But as you become more comfortable with fasting, you can experiment with different eating windows to see what feels most natural for your body. For some people, a slightly shorter eating window like 14-10 or 12-12 might be a better fit. Others might thrive on a longer fasting window like 18-6 or even 24. The key is to listen to your body and pay attention to how you feel. Do you feel more energized and focused with a shorter eating window? Or do you prefer a longer fasting period to really tap into those fat-burning benefits? Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's all about finding what works best for you. Don't be afraid to experiment to adjust your eating window based on your schedule, your energy levels, and your overall well-being. And here's a pro tip. Even small adjustments to your eating window can make a big difference. For example, if you're currently doing 16-8 and want to try a longer fast, try pushing your first meal back by an hour or two. The beauty of customization is that it puts you in the driver's seat. You have the power to tailor your intermittent fasting journey to fit your unique needs and preferences. So embrace the flexibility, experiment with different eating windows, and discover the perfect fasting rhythm for your body. And there you have it, my friends. The five essential tips that will set you up for success on your intermittent fasting journey. Remember, this isn't about deprivation. It's about empowerment. It's about taking control of your health and unlocking your body's true potential. I'd love to hear from you. Which of these tips resonated with you the most? Do you have any other strategies that have helped you on your fasting journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content on intermittent fasting, nutrition, and overall well-being.
Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Remember, fasting doesn't have to be a struggle. With these tips, you're well on your way to an effortless journey.